The message is, what must I do? Jesus said, you must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. In John chapter 3, verse 3. One of the greatest tragedies in religion today is that many people do not know how to go to heaven. Even though the Bible plainly tells us, man is dead in sin and is in a special bed. What must I do to enter the kingdom of heaven? Jesus addressed the condemnation to teach him that he must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Jesus tell us that we must be born again to enter into the kingdom of heaven. In John chapter 3, Jesus clearly explains how a person can be born again and get into heaven. Jesus says, in order to get into heaven, you must be born again. Who was the good most? He was a righteous leader with both position and popularity, and yet he was also empty man. He was empty man. One of the problems with religion today is that it tells you to perform, to get baptized, to work out your salvation, to do, to do good things, and also to follow the commandment. This is the world of salvation. The problem with this approach is that it leaves you void, lonely and bare, and never satisfied with ourselves. Sadly, many churches, members in UK today and around the world are religious but empty. With this approach, every time we fail or sin, we have to go back again and start over again. It is endless, vicious cycle. The devil wishes you to see you to control that path because it's the way that leads to hell. I believe Nicodemus was tired out of living this way. So the Bible says that Nicodemus came searching for Jesus at night in John chapter 3 verse 2. He knew there was something missing in his life. His petty, his person, his popularity, his power could not feed the power that is in his heart. His secondary meaning of purpose of life. So Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ. He clearly made the right decision which I pray that many of you will do today. Despite of your religious credentials, Jesus said to him that in order to get to heaven, he must be born again. Listen to me, listen to what I can say. If you are trying to go to heaven by your good works and trying to live a sinless life, forget about that. You must come to Jesus Christ in order for you to create you a new person. What does the word born again mean? It means to be transformed. Just like a caterpillar transformed to butterfly. Christians are not just nice people. They are a new creature. And as a man being a new creature, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So this phrase means, to be born again means to be born out from above. When you have the Holy Spirit of God to come into your heart, he will transform you, save you, see you as his son, and break the chains of sin that binds you. That is the new nation, that is the new bed that you need. My question to you right now, have you been born again? You say, you must live a new life. The best in being of life to be born again is to begin anew. You cannot approach God in your own nature. Except the man be born again, Jesus Christ says, you must not enter into the kingdom of God. You must be born again for you to enter into heaven. That is the only way. These are the tests and conditions. You must be born, sanctify me, she be born from above. Well educated or uneducated, Jew or Gentile, black or white, rich or poor, powerful or weak, all must be born again for them to enter into the kingdom of God. Jesus the grace to the condemnation, yet must be born again. Now I say this to you. Whatever God wants says me to do, I must do it. Yes, I can because God says so. I said the man be born again. He cannot, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. How can one be born again? Jesus explains that one needs to have a born again spiritual life. He pointed out there are two steps. God does one, but you must do the other. In John chapter 3, verse 14, Jesus Christ speaking here, as the most little disciple in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up. What does this mean? Our salvation happens when we look up to Jesus, believing He will save us. One step is God's step, the other step is you. Because you see, God has sacrificed His Son on the cross of Calvary for our sins. He provides salvation for all. But you must look up to Jesus for you to be saved. Even though they have provided a way for you, 
until you come to Jesus, you will not be saved. So salvation is in the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I believe one of the four verses in the Bible, in John chapter 3, verse 16, which I find these two steps. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That is one step. God bless you. About Jesus, are you saved? What do you want to say about Jesus? Okay. You guys need to give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Amen. Precious sister, you have to give your life to Jesus before it's too late. So the Bible says in John 3 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That is one step. And the step I'm not finished there. So God has given his son to us. What is the second step? You have to believe. Because the Bible says, We are very saying, We will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, until the God of the that second step and accept Jesus, you will not have eternal life. Until you come to Jesus, you have no eternal life in you. So that's the question for you right now. Are you saved? Do you know what it means to be saved? To be saved is to save from hell. And the second man be born again, he cannot, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. It is not a question of how good you are. Because you are born into sin. The reason why Jesus Christ came and died is because of our sin. And when we believe in him, he takes away our sins and gives us in righteousness. Without Jesus Christ, you will not make it to the kingdom of God. So in John chapter 3 verse 7, Jesus said to the God most, You must be born again. God give us the plan to be saved. That is the only way that you can be saved. By accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And He gives in you the Holy Spirit. Because right now, without the Spirit of God living in you, you do not belong to Christ. The Bible says this in Romans chapter 8 verse 10. Very simple, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. He will save you. Because Jesus is a wonderful Savior. Now, how can you be saved today? First, you must admit that you're a sinner. The Bible says all have sinned and conscious the glory of God. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Second, know that God has provided that salvation for you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever is in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Number three, you ought to know that you cannot save yourself, which means you need the mercy of God. In Titus chapter 3, verse 5. Number four, you must repent of your sin. Jesus Christ said, Luke chapter 3, verse 5. Verse 3. Except you repent, you likewise perish. Number five, you must see Jesus to save you. For the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 3. For whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Believe the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. As of Apostle chapter 16, verse 31. The sins you must forget Jesus before others. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart that God is in from death, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's what you have to do. Believe in your heart, confess Jesus Christ is Lord, believe in your heart that God is for risen from death. The Bible says you shall be saved. The man place in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.